Hello students, welcome to the Jump Off Space. I am going to start with the search from the Moody Library's homepage and go from there to find articles using databases and then into the database CINAHL to run a subject search with the CINAHL headings. So starting from the URL at the top, I'm just going to type in hbu.edu forward slash moody you can see our library homepage and over on the left side find articles using databases this will take you to the database that we're going to use to send all I did want to point out to you that this HBU one search has a link right here to the advanced search where you can search uh, almost all the databases at one time and limit to peer review journals right here which is the scholarly journals academics journals journals <clears throat> so this would also be one thing one option you have for yourself but let me go ahead and go into find articles using databases now on this right side you will see a list of all of the library databases on the left side you see a list of all of our general databases it's a really good idea to look through these and get an idea of the different databases that we have. In this case, I'm going to, I could come down here and click right on CINAHL Plus with full text by EBSCO. And from there, I would get a screen that looks like, let's see, this right here to log in with your HBU portal or network login password, it's usually your last name, first initial, uh, something like that and then whatever password you've made is the same login you would have to get on any PC on campus. So to make it easier I'm going to go ahead and click on nursing and kinesiology the tab at the top and here's CINAHL listed right here so I'm clicking on it. It automatically gives me the sign in page so I will sign in database automatically opens in the advanced search screen. You see advanced search right here, it's not the basic search. At the top of the screen you will see CINAHL headings. Clicking on CINAHL headings, remember I prefer to use term contains, not term begins with. And there were several different um, <coughs> spelling for post-traumatic so I'm going to just try a couple of these and see which one works for works for CINAHL. You can also look at this view tutorials and it will show you also how to run these searches. So I'm going to go in here and just type in post-traumatic just like that all one word and see what I get. I'm going to go ahead and copy this so I don't have to type it again and I'm going to run the search and they are not pulling up anything here related to what we're looking for. So that did not, did, that did not work. So I'm going to go back again to send all headings here. And I'm going to make sure it's still on term contains. And I'm going to paste that in there. And now I'm going to try with just a, a hyphen in here and see what the database says. So now I've got post hyphen traumatic. Let's see what happens. Still I'm not getting any really great hits even though I do see this right here. I really would like something a little bit better than that. So I'm going to click back on send all headings again. Excuse me. Okay, now I'm going to try post-traumatic as two different words and term contains and let's see what we get. A 
looking down this list, I see here stress disorders post-traumatic. That is what I want. So I'm going to take this by clicking on it. And now I've got many choices. I can either take all of these if I want to, anxiety disorders, but I'm going to take stress disorders, post-traumatic, and I'm going to go ahead and explode that. You don't have to do that. You could take the major concept here and then just go ahead and search your database. <clears throat> or you could actually explode it. I guess I will keep it at this major concept. And now, because you're in a CINAHL database, a, a nursing database, it's giving you different choices. So if your uh, assignment asks you to find the history of stress disorders, you could check this off here. Or if you want to find the uh, classification, you can check this off here. Or complications or symptoms, therapy, trends. Any of these you can pick that you're interested in. Education, and then it will run that search. You see here's your, your uh, stress disorder, your correct subject heading, and it adds these different codes to tell a database to also search for those different parts of this subject heading. And now I will search the database. And you can see all the terms have been added here as major uh, subject headings. And I've got 2,000 hits. And you can also narrow it down by years here. And you can also narrow it down by uh, peer-reviewed uh, journals, which I would suggest you do. The way you do that is click on Show More. And then you will see here you can narrow it down by year. So I'm going to say 2010 to 2015. Most uh, science uh, classes want you to keep the last five years is as your, with your hits. And we want a peer review journal. We want this to be the best of the best. This is one step above the academic journal. These journals are reviewed by the peers in that area, in that field, or by an editorial board uh, for the journal. So that keeps the quality of the journal's uh, articles um, high and also I would think also allows them to charge more for that journal. So we're going to leave it at peer-reviewed and we're going lim to limit it to the last five years and we're going to go ahead and ask for full text. You don't have to but we will in this case. You also have a choice to limit by research articles and humans whatever else you want to look for a first author as a nurse, any author as a nurse. Now this is a specialized nursing database so you are going to get many more uh, different ways that you can limit that you wouldn't normally have. Now I'm searching and we're down to 300 now from 2000. So that is a good way to narrow down your search.